In this fourth tutorial we are going to learn how to get and change the state of our controller through our web application. We will also learn how to use new graphical elements like switches, radio buttons and menus. The first thing we are going to do is to update the icons folder and add a new Java script file called tabs.js that has the necessary functions to switch tabs. To do this go to the folder that can be downloaded with this tutorial and copy these elements. Then paste them into the program folder. Open Visual Studio Code and create a new file called controller underscore script.js where we are going to put all the functions that we will learn in this tutorial. We begin declaring the variables of the objects that we are going to use. Next, we create a function to initialize all the elements in a similar way to the script.js file. The first element that we are going to create is the menu bar, where we will put as title a bb evelix lift kit. Also we will define a button that says controller settings, that has a logo of a gear in addition to an arrow. When the button is pressed, a function that is in the tabs.js file will be executed, and the tabs will be changed. Next, we create two radio buttons. With these lines we make that only one of the buttons can be active. Then, we put the following instructions where we can change the controller to manual or automatic. The next step is to create the switch to turn on or turn off the motors. We set the element to a scale of 1.5 with this line. By clicking on the switch we can turn the motors on or off depending on their current state. To know the state of the switch we use this condition. Next, we create a button to start the program. For this we reset the program pointer with this line. Turn on the motors. Change the state of the switch that we just created to be displayed in the correct way. And start the program setting it in a continuous cycle. Running the task that is selected in the task selection panel. The next step is to create another button to stop the program. Then, we create two functions to initialize the radio buttons and the switch to the controller states when the application is opened. With the function load underscore manual underscore auto we obtain the operating state of the controller. If it is in automatic mode, we turn on the second button, and if it is in manual mode, the first one. With the load underscore motor underscore state function we do something similar, but with the switch and the state of the motors. These functions are already called in the radio buttons and in the switch. The next step is to go to the script.js file and add the start function of the new elements in the load function. To finish, we modify our HTML file. We add the libraries of the new elements that we have used. We call tabs.js and controller underscore script.js. In the body of the web, we add the menu bar and the image of Gofa mounted on the lift kit. And then we add the content of the controller settings tab. Next, we save everything and open our application. We see that the menu bar has been created with the image that we have added. If we click on controller settings, we access another tab with the new elements. We see that we can change the controller mode, turn on or turn off the motors, and start or stop the program. 